Hello and welcome to another edition of Conspirator Brooks Polis. This is my Polis for the week of July 22nd, 2020. Uh, let's get right into it. First up we have Action Comics number 1023. Um, I've been getting the variant covers for Action because I can't stand John Romita Jr. art. Um, it really pulls away from the story Bendis is trying to tell in, in Action. Um, and uh, we saw this with... Um, uh, when Johns in, was writing in the New 52 on, I believe it was Action, and Ramita Jr. came in to do the art. The story just didn't hit like it, or resonate like it would have if it was somebody else. Uh, I'm not a John Ramita Jr. art fan, apparently. Um, some people are. I don't know who. His art style has not improved over the years. Um, if you really want, just look up uh, how he draws Gorilla Grodd uh, right now. It's bad. Next up, we have Amethyst number four of six. Um, I've been enjoying Amethyst. It's great. My niece has been really enjoying it. Uh, so she's like, uh, make, she made sure that to tell me that I needed to keep getting them for her. Uh, so yay on getting them. Uh, my niece engaged somehow. Uh, so yeah, uh, I like Amethyst. It's a great thing for my, my niece is like fifth girl. She's going into the fifth grade. So yeah, so it's. This Amethyst series is perfectly fine for, you know, those kids that are in the late elementary school ages or middle school or high school or even for adults. Um, so, yeah. Uh, yeah. Next up, we have uh, Batgirl number 47, uh, Joker War Collateral Damage. Um, is basically the tie-in book for Joker War. Uh, I've been starting to get back row because of the tie-ins. Uh, it's been okay. I've been enjoying it so far. I'm most likely going to finish out Batgirl to issue 50, um, which is the last issue of the series, or at least this iteration of the series. Um, Batgirl, Justice League Odyssey, and Batman and the Outsiders are slated to end in October. Uh, Batman and the Outsiders are with, I believe, issue 17. Uh, Justice, uh, Justice League Odyssey with issue 25 and Batgirl with issue 50. So just so you are aware of what's coming up in the pipeline. Next up, we have Batman at 95 or Joker War Part 1. Welcome to Joker War, people. Uh, if you don't know what's happening right now, basically Joker has stolen Batman or Bruce's entire fortune. Uh, but made, he has claimed the house. He has claimed Wayne Enterprises. He has taken over everything behind Batman's back and Batman has nothing. Um, if this seems a little similar, it does happen to Green Arrow a lot. So um, I'm curious to see how it happens to uh, Bruce Wayne and Batman uh, going forward. Uh, but Joker War seems, uh, is, ten is probably going to be pretty interesting. So if you have not yet checked it out, I do highly recommend it. Uh, Tyrion the fourth has been doing just a bang up job on Batman and uh, yeah even if it does resonate a little like with Green Arrow kind of story I'm okay with that because they borrow from each other all the time next up we have uh, one from Ahoy Comics and Mark Russell who's uh, amazing uh, that guy um, I'll talk about him in a second but uh, Billionaire Island number three uh, comes out today I've been enjoying Billionaire Island it is basically just this basically big F you to billionaires and the rich and kind of exposing everything and all that. It's great. Mark Russell does a fantastic job. Um, Mark Russell was in the news lately with the dynamite fiasco that happened over the weekend. Uh, dynamite comics, um, was in, I can't remember his last name, but Nick B starts with B. Um, the CEO of diamond or dynamite comics has apparently been, um, helping, talking, working with known comic skaters for a little while now, and everything kind of came to a head when a open variant, or when a variant cover was announced through Diamond's official um, Twitter handle, um, that yeah, they were basically going to be putting out a known comic skaters variant cover for I think a Vamprella book. Um, it would Vamprella Red Sonia? I have no idea which one, um, but yeah. Uh, this prompted many creators to uh, basically cut ties with Dynamite, um, Mark Russell being one of them. He said he just finished his last script on Red Sonia, and even though he had, he was done contractually, he had, he was going to have things coming, or, you know, potential new projects with Dynamite, but he has canceled those uh, due to Dynamite's affiliation with the known hate group Comics Gate. Um, they... 
over and uh, you know a few other creators i uh, did this po creators that used to work for dynamite um and gail simone basically said something along the lines of that this is something she very needs much needs to think about um so yeah uh we um oh sorry somebody's trying to call they can leave message um <laughs> yes i'm doing this on my phone um basically what happened uh and so they basically pulled the cover they're not doing it um but dynamite really didn't issue a, a formal apology so i think people are still very wary um yeah if you affiliate with a known hate group then you know you're gonna have to deal with the repercussions of that i mean people don't want to um, be associated with things of that nature um yeah so we'll see. Uh, Nick may have burned bridges with Comicsgate, but they've already the damage has already been done for him in the main industry. So I don't know what happens going forward. Uh, but yeah, even you could be the nicest person, but you associate yourself with the wrong people, that will come back to bite you in the ass hardcore. So uh, yeah. Anyway, let's move on. First, or next up is. Um, Detective Comics number 1024, Journey to Joker War. So I'm apparently supposed to read this before I read the Collateral Damage and the Joker War Part 1. Uh, so maybe be on the lookout for that in your reading orders. Next up, we have The Flash number 758. Getting down there on towards the end of Williamson's run on Flash. Um, it's been fantastic. I can't wait to see how he ends it. Um, I'm not exactly sure. i got to look up when that's coming, but it is coming soon. Uh, next up, we have Joker Harley Criminal Sanity Secret Files, a black label book. This is from Cami Garcia, uh, Edward uh, Kurtz, and yep, MD, I guess. Uh, yeah, so uh, Jason Buller, a whole bunch of people. But yeah, Secret Files, I don't know what it's all about. I've been in, I got caught up with all of my black label magazine size books, so I've actually really been enjoying Joker Harley Criminal Sanity. It's a very cool look at harley quinn actually trying to um you know work as a um uh, as a criminal psychologist and all that stuff so it's really deep dive cami garcia has done a fantastic job writing it uh, i would highly recommend checking it out next up we have a justice league dark number 24 i love justice league dark it's amazing if you have not yet checked it out i highly recommend it i even recommend going back to the new 52 justice league dark and reading that because that was great Next up, we have Shazam number 13. Johns is back writing. We no longer have the filler issues. Shazam will be ending soon. Um, I'm sorry to see it go. Johns has done a fantastic job with Shazam. Um, but yeah, uh, good things must come to an end, I guess. But uh, yeah, if you haven't checked out Shazam, kind of pro probably wait. They're probably going to have a huge collection of it. Uh, and yeah, that's it. So that's it for my regular pull list. Um, I did grab some graphic novels, or sorry, no graphic novels this week. I did grab some variants. Uh, I grabbed the variant for Batgirl 47, which is kind of a play on the playing card there with Joker and Batgirl. And uh, it's a Terry Dotson cover. So if you're Terry Dotson fans, snag that one up. Batman 95, of course, had a very bitchin' cover. So I picked that one up. Flash 758 had a great cover as well. Um, I liked the one for uh, uh, Shazam 13. So I snagged that one up as well. Yeah, I don't remember who the artist is on that. Uh, and the other thing I got this week was a uh, special order came in. Uh, this is Stanley Art Germ Lau's uh, volume two of his uh, poster portfolio. It gives you 20 posters inside. Uh, here is the selection of posters. So we'll zoom it in for you there and we'll scroll up like that. Uh, but that is the selection of posters in this one. Funny enough, uh, people were apparently buying just single posters from the poster book volume one uh for more than what the poster book itself cost uh so yeah so uh this was um how much was this thing this was is it even on here 24.99 so 25 bucks you get 20 posters um people were apparently selling uh, posters from the original one at more than what the original one cost so not that it's an investment i just find it funny uh, and I also wanted to give you guys an update today on Free Comic Book Day, or as we are having it, Free Comic Book Summer. So Free Comic Book Day was canceled due to COVID this year. Uh, it is really sad because it's a really 
big day for a lot of comic stores across the United States. <clears throat> they often have sales and contests, con your costume contests. Uh, it's a big giant event for, you know, to get people exposed and to, you know, kind of say, hey, comics is a medium for you to read and enjoy. And there's tons of stuff out there besides just superhero comics. Uh, but again, this year it was canceled. I've been in, I've been participating in Free Comic Book Day for the past 13 years, 12, 12, 13 years. It's so much fun every year. Um, we don't do a sale, we don't do a contest, but we still have so many people come out and you t just get to talk and engage with people and it's just a great, great environment. Um, especially with this week and those are my kids being loud outside. Uh, <laughs> there's an interruption, yay. Um, so yeah, so basically um, we're not having Free Comic Book Day per se, we're having Free Comic Book Summer. So every week, Free comic books are going to be coming out at your local comic shops. This has been going on for a couple weeks now. Um, I'm super excited for what came out this week, um, but I will get to the ones that are um, the previous weeks or the ones we've been previously given out. So uh, Firepower from Robert Kirkman was one that was uh, given out um, early on, and you can it, hope your stores may have it. Um, the other one, next one is X-Men. The free comic book day one from one of the ones from Marvel. Marvel put out a couple of them. Uh, there's another one out this week from Marvel, and that's the Spider-Man one. You can check out there. Um, Ver, uh, <clears throat> Aftershock and Valiant, of course, have ones that are coming out this week. Ones for Bloodshot. You know, the second best comic book movie of the year behind Birds of Prey, because those are the only two comic book movies we got this year so far, and probably the only two we will get. Think about that. Um, and then Aftershock gave us uh, Cullen Bunn's Dark Arc Instinct. Uh, or, and I believe Instinct. I don't know if it's Dark Arc Instinct or... Well, let's see. Yeah, Dark Arc Extinct. Uh, which is basically the evil arc. Not the good one. Not the one with all, two by two of all the good animals. This is the evil arc or the mystical one. I don't know. Demons, whatever. Uh, so you can grab that to check out. But the one I'm super excited for is from Titan Comics, and that is the uh, Horizon Zero Dawn uh, free comic day book, which basically will, you you can check this out. Issue one is out, I believe, next week, uh, the 20, it'll drop on the 29th. Um, yeah, I'm super excited for this. Um, they have uh, uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. I, I bought the complete edition. I played and I loved the game. I've actually almost 100%ed the game itself. I've gotten 100% on the game, on the expansion, but I have not yet done the New Game Plus playthrough. Uh, so I have to play through on New Game Plus hard, and once I do that, um, I will have 100%ed the entire game. Uh, Horizon Zero Dawn is just a beautiful, beautiful game. Gorilla does, I don't know what it is about their games that I've always loved so much. I got into the Killzone franchise with PlayStation 2, and loved it. Place it kills on two, kills on three. Shadowfall, they kind of lost me. I probably need to go back and revisit that game. Um, but uh, Horizon Zero Dawn is just a beautiful, beautiful game. And especially with um, the new one coming out, uh, Horizon uh, was it Forbidden West is the next one for PlayStation Five. Uh, it is a game that will make me buy a PlayStation Five, even buy a white PlayStation Five. I'm sorry, it's just that, that I'm not a huge fan of that color the outside of the box like give me give me a traditional black i like the black color i I'm, i like it's my favorite color okay i know i'm weird leave me alone um but yeah horizon zero dawn zero issue uh grab it check it out see if you like it and then you know hey it's coming to comic book stores it's a four issue mini art germs doing covers on it they have game art wraparound covers so yeah um i'm super stoked for it and you'll be seeing it on this channel later thanks for watching please like share and subscribe to the channel um, if you want, you can um, support me a little bit by listening, or sorry, um, you can also listen to me on the Comics Conspiracy podcast. Uh, we just finished recording episode 461, where we dive a little bit more into the Comics Gate uh, Dynamite pro, you know, stuff that's been going on. Uh, we talk about a couple things in news items, uh, like Walking Dead um, being recolored or, or being re released in color. And uh, they're calling it the deluxe edition. They're releasing the single issues. I'm a little wary of 193 issues being re-released in color. 
but people are probably going to maybe jump into it because there is a limiting factor in black and white comics. People tend to not want to read them for some reason. Um, they, they're, 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 there's something about it that, that's standoffish, but maybe this will hit a wider audience, even though Walking Dead's audience is ginormous to begin with. Uh, so yeah, so be on the lookout for those. But you can listen to their, uh, that episode. There's a link in the description if you want to check it out. Uh, you can also um, help me and my fellow conspirators out through Patreon at www.patreon.com slash comics conspiracy. For a little a dollar a month, you help us out um, basically with making the podcast and getting products. So thank you very much to all of our Patreon backers. It helps out so much. Um, you can help me out a little more directly by clicking on any Amazon link here at conspiratorbrock.com. Um, or going over to my eBay page where I'm selling stuff. I posted a few new items up there, so check it out. Um, but yeah, I'm currently trying to purge things because uh, this is the tricky part of the year as an educator. Uh, for those of you who don't understand, uh, I'm a what they call an 11-month employee, so I'm paid 11 out of 12 months out of the year, which means I don't actually get a paycheck at the end of July. Um, there's two times during the year that's really hard for educators. It's Christmas time or after like around Christmas to the end of January and, uh, July to August. So, um, basically, yeah. So this is the time where I'm like a little extra, uh, money. So I'm trying to get rid of some stuff. I'm using let go a little bit more. Uh, and, uh, yeah, so we'll see how everything goes. Uh, but yeah, head over to my eBay page and see what I'm getting rid of. Um, and, uh, you can follow me on Twitter. My handle's at Brock Sager. Um, and, uh, that's pretty much it. Hope everyone is staying safe. Please, please, for the love of God, wear a mask or love of whatever deity you want. Uh, it's very, very important. Wear a mask, stay safe, and, uh, I'll see you 